What's up, everybody? I'm back, and today we got another roller coaster review coming at you. Today, I'm doing a review of the final coaster at Michigan's Adventure that I had yet to ride, that I get to also do a review on. This is the Woodstock Express Kitty Coaster. Now, I'm reviewing a kitty coaster. What the hell, man? Um, this kitty coaster is part of Michigan's Adventure's new Camp Snoopy section for this year. But it's really not new because it used to be at Michigan's Adventure. It was always been there. And it's always, but it was in a different location. It was colored blue. Um, so when we went there in 2018 and I wanted to see, hey, can am I able to ride this? Am I able to um, do that? Um, I couldn't do it. I couldn't find it because, but it was in a location off by Zach Sumer is what we were able to find out when we were there. And so yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's a little obscure of a section, but now they have it in a section of the park where it's really, really like noticeable because Camp Snoopy, they oriented it to be nice, nice area. Um, so that's really nice. I like that they did that, but there's definitely a lot of work that still needs to be done in that area for sure. But it's now, instead of being covered by trees, it's got Zach Sumer right next to it. It's in the front, and that's really nice. So, um, Now, as far as the coaster itself, I was really surprised we were even able to get on it. I remember it being you had to be accompanied a kid in order to ride it, but we were able to get on it, um, and we weren't expecting much out of this. Um, it wasn't... You know, it didn't have a long line. It was a credit, so he decided to get on it because why not? And it had a shaded um, hue, so that was nice for the sun. But we didn't expect much coming out of this. And we get on it, and we get thrown up the lift hill, you know. And it, we go around. When you do these kitty rides, you go around twice because it's so short. Um, so you go around twice. So that was pretty nice. But we get there, and you know, we're wondering. Okay, well, where is is it all like? Is it gonna be even that fun? Is it gonna even be good? Uh, no, I mean, we didn't expect it to be that good, but I was genuinely surprised. I was genuinely surprised. The I think maybe because of its small stature, it was able to like keep up good intent. Like it wasn't as good as like you know some other rides in the park like Thunderhawk or Corkscrew or. Uh, Wolverine Wildcat or even Shivering Timbers or something like that. But for its stature and its size, it was actually not that bad. It was like throwing us around a little bit. Um, it had some, There was one little hill had some okay air time. Uh, it wasn't anything you know too spectacular. But for what it was, it was pretty good. Um, and I like that it took you around twice, you know, because it was a short ride. It's a little compact area, you know, not too much bigger than the basement I'm even sitting in right now recording this video. But um, as far as theming went, though, when it goes to, like, it was called the Woodstock Express. And it was called the, I think it was like Jumbo, Jumbo Rocket, I think it used to be called. And it was blue. Now it's like yellow. The trains are different. Um, at least I think they are. And there's not really much other theming. Other than that, I mean, the queue is nice. It has, like, wood and stuff, I guess, for Woodstock Express. But there really isn't much else there. I mean, it's a nice-themed area of the park. I think the coaster just didn't get a lot of stuff to it. But I am glad that they did give it a, um, a new location and a new place to put it. Um, so it's more visible. More kids get to ride. And I think it's definitely a nice entry-level coaster for young children. Who want to get on the big ones, especially with Zach Sumer right there, because it's a nice incline from Woodstock Express to Zach Sumer, and then you get on Corkscrew, which is also in that right vicinity right there. So that's a nice like one, two, three uh, step ladder to get to the big roller coasters, I think, um, for Michigan's Adventure at least. And I think they did really good with that placement. Um, I'm just even shocked that we were able to get on this thing and get a credit, so that was pretty nice, but. I don't really have much else to say about this roller coaster. It's pretty pretty small and simple layout. Um, and so I'm going to have to give it probably just a 4 or 5. Maybe a 3. Somewhere in that vicinity. Um, for what it is, um, it's definitely... I mean, if you're a Michigan's Adventure and you are haven't gotten that credit yet, go, go get it. I mean, it's not going to be a long wait. 
it's not going you can ride it because you're you know a kid you're not you don't have, have a kid so you can ride it um and it's worth the credit especially since um there's only like seven coasters there and that's one of them I, I mean, if you're there, it's worth it. If you're not, you don't go to Michigan's Adventure just to ride the Corks, uh, not just to ride the Woodstock Express. Like, no. But just don't go alone because you might seem like a creep. But I mean, if you're there, might as well go ride it. But it's not anything you need to go out of your way for. Just if you're there, pick it up on the way, you know. Um, but that's going to be wrapping it up for this. Um, uh, our coaster review um gonna stay dormant for a little while till about maybe september mid-september and then should pick it up a little bit with a few more credits and then we're gonna be dormant probably till next year with these um until i can get more credits um hopefully another global pandemic doesn't hit us and uh they shut down all the parks later this year or next year so but that shouldn't happen we'll, we'll be fine right <laughs> i like to think we'll be fine but um, until next time, guys, ride on, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, bye.